Hey team, welcome back. In this video, we are going to compute the pay periods for a company. I've learned that the first pay period is on January the 11th, and we're going to go up until the first of the following year. Here, I've used a declare statement, and you can see that I have three variables, start date, end date, and periods. And what we're going to do is we're going to assign a value into them and declare their data types. When I execute this program, these have to be available for the whole program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to print. And whenever you want to print on one line, everything has to be casted out to varchar to fit on one line. And notice that if I just try to execute this one line by itself, it's going to say, uh, where'd that start date come from? Remember, you have to include all these declare variables down inside with the program. Now we get to the meat of the program is a while loop. Now a while loop has an expression here, and this expression will evaluate to either true or false. And while this is saying is while this is true, I want you to do this. So it comes down here, comes back up there, and notice my start date, I'm using date add, I'm going to increment it by 14 days. So 14 days gets added to start date, and then I'm going to assign that to the variable. And I'm going to come around, I'm going to say, hey, 14 days later, are you still less than or equal to this end date? Yes, I am. So I'm going to keep doing this loop. As soon as start date is greater than end date, then this right here will not execute and I'll drop out of it. And then notice here, I'm incrementing my number of periods and periods will be printed down here. One other line on line 12 here, I will pr be printing out the start date. So it'll start with this one, but then I start incrementing and you will see the 14 day increment. Let's run this program. And there you have it. So here's our first day, first pay period. Notice that it got the start date. And then I'm inside my loop and this right here, this January the 11th is this print statement. I increment it by 14 days and it's January the 25th. And I come back up there and I print 0125. I increment it to February the 8th. I print it. I just stay inside this loop until of course, that's my last pay period. I cannot add 14 more days to this and be less than January the 1st, 26 pay periods. Okay, team, that's all I got. We'll see you back on the next video.